you guys chose us and now it's our job to help you the best that we can to make sure you fulfill your dreams and get everything you want and more importantly, more specifically in this time frame, get everything you can out of Summer League. This is just one part of your journey, not the journey. So all of you guys gotta come in here, put in the work you gotta put in. Some of you guys, you're gonna get on this court and earn an NBA contract. But all of you are here to be a part of this journey and we all wanna help you take yourself, your game, to the next level. What I see our job, my job being, is facilitating you guys having a great experience, playing together and showing what you can do within that team framework. We're trying to set a really high standard, have a culture that we're all excited to be part of and you can be proud of. When we finish this, we'll win some games, absolutely, and we'll play in a way that you guys will hold your heads up and look at each other, so that was, that was fun. We feel really proud about the work you did. Five games, be a pro, be committed to the process, and let's have a good time. Let's have some fun, let's win some games. All right. Finally in Vegas. Decided, you know, it's been a whole bunch of work. The whole time the season been over. You know, I'm ready to just, well, all of us, they've been working hard the whole time to showcase what we've been working on to show Brooklyn that we have a bright future. But as I told you, our job is to get to the games and feel really comfortable. So you play together without thinking and go and be aggressive. So build good habits, learn through video, come back tomorrow and do it again. Work hard, put some work in, get ready to, you know what I'm saying, get some rest, bring it again for another day. Let's do it. We make some mistakes on defense. We, do, we will jump on the perimeter. We, low man will miss it, they'll score one. What do we do? Keep doing the back. Get it out of that net, come right back at it. That's it, yep. Like, our spirit is everything. We keep that the whole time. On your head! Cass, we did this here last summer, so you already know the deal, but first one, player signature. Yeah, it feels good to sign his contract, uh, especially after my first year in Brooklyn. I uh, had a lot of fun and really enjoyed it, so uh, looking forward to this next year coming up and playing with the team. Man, man, again, congratulations for all your great hands. It's a great organization. They believe in you. They know obviously what you can do, and I'm just really happy for you and for your family. And uh, same for you guys, Matt. Uh, I think you guys found an absolute steal on the stuff. I mean, a lot, you know, finally making me feel like I finally made it now, you know, so it means a lot. So and just stay focused and just play hard every time. We're going to make some mistakes tomorrow. Love how hard we played. We play together. When things aren't going well, even more so play together. Great job today. Yeah, yeah bro. Bro. Hey, yes. we hoop tomorrow. Hey, Nets on three. One, two, three. Yes. Here's my last thing. Just play with an edge. Talk about making them uncomfortable. You guys have worked really hard for this moment. Love what you've done. Just go let it hang out offensively. Yep, have some fun. We'll play with an edge on D and compete. Alright, let's do it, baby. Next on three. One, two, three. This youngster right here can flat out score Cam Thomas for the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, we saw that. And we see it right off the rip. Cam Thomas get to the bucket, slicing, dicing, enticing, sharp with the hammer. It's a fun time, you know, getting to put in work together for like the past two months. Um, then come out here and really, you know, show what we've been working on. The step over. Just part of every young player's growth. Cam is an elite scorer. Um, he has really bought into his growth as a decision maker and thought he showed that at the start today. He showed it last game too, but um, reflected on the game and he's getting better every game. Duke into the paint, left hand and good. He has great instincts, you know, being a good scorer, I think it just makes it that much easier to be a passer because everybody's going to load up on you and stuff like that. And, you know, he understands that for sure. And you can see it, you know, game by game. 
Wide open for Kessler. Edwards as he punches it home with the left. Thomas, extra pass. Edwards on the three and strokes it home. I'm not really worried about this, the scoring, the stats MVP. I'm just worried about working on what they want me to work on so I can get on the floor more in the regular season. So I'm just worried about improving any way I can. Is that Royce O'Neal, his newest teammate, that helped him up off the floor? Uh, we love that we can look over to the sidelines and see a couple of our teammates there. Um, you know, showing support gives us more confidence as well. I think gives them confidence in us, you know, seeing what we can do out there. To have, uh, like, somebody of that stature um, come out and support us as the young guys, you know, that makes us feel good. It makes us happy to play. So, you know, kudos to them for coming out here and watching us play. Yeah, at the end of the day, some league is fun. You know, it's a fun environment. So, you know, being able to share that with them is, is special. Oh, goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Going through a little tough spell in that third quarter. We could have easily went our separate ways. We battled back, took the lead to go into the fourth, and then, like you guys said, that fourth quarter, our energy was infectious. Hey, this on three. One, two, three. Yes. yes, sir. This summer has been important for Brooklyn because you got a lot of second year guys playing together, working on some things, looking to grow up their game. You never know what the roster's going to look like. You, 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 you never know. When you have an opportunity, these guys, a lot of these guys got experience last year playing with the big club. They understand what it takes, and now is their opportunity to expand their game, look to make an impact to get a bigger role, understand what it takes to be successful. Going out there and really being able to continue to develop and continue to grow. You know, it's not really just about summer league, it's really about putting that together for the upcoming season and, you know, working towards the championship. Really impressed with Dayron's tournament. I think he plays a really mature game. Unselfish, willing passer in the post, putting pressure on the rim, making plays for others. I think he's really improved. No, that young man's name. Sharp. Yeah, I feel, I feel good. I feel like I've been playing harder for longer. You know, do I do, get a rebound, score, point in the paint, play good defense. Not today. Not today, my brother. And that's a big time finish there by Dayron Sharp. That's what I'm talking about, Day. That's your territory. Shoot that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, bro. So then you got them threes, baby. They want to shoot them threes. You need to do it every time. I've been working on my shot every day, you know, just get, gaining more confidence just to know to show Brooklyn I'm ready to play. But he's doing the work. He's got a really bright future as a shooter. He's always been a willing and and good passer, and uh, that's exciting. And David Duke Jr. is another guy who has played incredibly well. Scoring the ball, facilitating, shooting it at a high clip. There he is on a nice entry pass as Sharp rocks the rim. Pick and roll back to Kevin Kelly. Ho oh, oh. ho! Here come the Nets in the breakout. This is Williams down the three. Oh my goodness! Are you serious, David? Too. It's about the process. Yeah, we beat about 20. You know 20 balls. It's about the process. Every day getting better, man. So, you know, coming out here, being able to, you know, put it to work, put it to the test, see how, you know, I'm improving. It was a big thing for me to show them, you know, how I can contribute, um, you know, with the Brooklyn team. I think you showed them, David. Congratulations. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, sir, man. Edwards, like you were saying, 48 games with Brooklyn last year, 23 starts. For a, a guy to come in as a second-round pick, to be able to get that much time, that was – really positive. Really happy with how uh, Kessler's responded um, and increased his energy level and become more of a leader and more aggressive offensively. I just know I have to be aggressive and always ready off the ball. We got guys like uh, Cam Thomas, David Duke coming off those ball screens, so I'm always ready on the perimeter to catch and shoot or just read a close out, uh, be aggressive, driving to the rim. Just want to get him to a guy that could be a, a definitely a threat offensively, but defensively, he's there. Moves it off the basketball, does all the little things. Off the pump fake, Alanis Ooh. Williams takes a hit, scoops it home, will go to the line for a possible three-point play. You can just see how explosive Alanis Williams is. He just terrorized the ACC this past season. 
I saw Alondis Williams in the slam dunk contest at the Final Four. He is explosive. He can get up. Williams comes back with it. Alondis hard to the rim and finishes. Super exciting talent. You really see the floor and score. It's little things for him to improve that we can definitely help him improve. And, and a great dish from Alondis Williams. Good chance by Raekwon Gray. Yeah, really happy for Raekwon Gray. He's an NBA player in my mind. And the modern game is versatility. Coaching him on the sidelines, it's such a nice tool to have to be able to bring, carry the ball, play the five. He can shoot and pass. It's, he's got a big future. Raekwon Gray rocking the rim. No matter what type of roster, we're going to need some guys coming off the bench that can give them some scoring punch, and Cam can do that. Couldn't be more impressed. Um, Cam's a pleasure to coach. Uh, super focused competitor, trying to get better at a lot of things, and is always going to be an elite scorer. And uh, I thought he had a tremendous tournament and showed real growth in a number of areas. Mr. Summer League. Leading scorer the past two summers. And you can see the things that he's working on, trying to take his game to the next level. Every time he gets the ball in his hand, you see his eyes just darting all over the court, surveying the field, trying to figure out who's open, where do I want to go with it. Not all about scoring this summer. A strong performance, winning their fifth and final game here in Las Vegas. The Nets move to 3-2 and two here in Vegas with a 102-94 win over the Celtics. Yeah, that's a dub, baby. Let's go home. I'm proud of my team. I'm proud that we all we all got along. I'm proud just, you know, just share the court with those guys. So I'm just happy, you know, we came out with a 3-2 and two record. Dubsky, to in Vegas, you know we out of here. What a privilege to coach you guys. You guys, to a man and as a team, just got better and better. We had some tough moments and responded and really represented the Nets well, and more importantly, represented yourselves really well. Fought, came together. We asked some guys to make sacrifices, which I get can be tough. And you did it across the board. Super fun to be a part of. Great two weeks. Glad we came out with a 3-2 record. I'm um, proud of everybody here, down to the coaches, staff, and every single player here. Some of these done. Now it's go time. Can't wait for the season to start. Back to Brooklyn we go. Go Nets.